Hey folks, I'm Aaron, and welcome back to RBB. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing so you get notified when new content drops. As always, our reviews are meant to cover three basic areas of the holster in less than five minutes. Those three points are build quality, modularity and usefulness, and finally, value, or what you get for what it costs. As a reminder, I pay full price for each holster I review, so if the product sucks, I'll tell you so and why. Today, we are reviewing the OmiTac Inside the Waistband Holster. This is a minimalist holster which is made in China by a Chinese health company. Now, if reviewing a Chinese firearms holster offends your Second Amendment sensibilities, that is understandable. But if you plan to discard this holster review already, then I warn you, the OmiTac does have a few features that American holster makers can learn from. If the mold itself is high quality, which in this case it appears to be, then there is less likely to be a lemon in the bunch than, say, with a heat-formed sheet of Kydex. So, let's start off with OmiTac's build quality. This minimalist holster is injection molded, which means they can be made very consistently from one to the other. As with most minimalist holsters, the OmiTac does not cover any more of the gun than what it has to. This means that there is very little real estate for the holster to hold onto the gun. The OmiTac holster does this right. It not only uses strategic notches to help hold the trigger guard in place, but is also form-fitted around the polymer frame near the slide for increased fit tension. There is a way to demonstrate that the slide is part of the holster's hold on the gun. You can lock up the holster on the gun without the holster covering the trigger guard. It just shows that the holster does have a grip on the frame in this position. This isn't intended as a way of using the holster. When mating the gun to the OmiTac holster, be sure that both the frame portion and the trigger guard portions of the holster are engaged. You can confirm this with a simple push-pull test. Also keep in mind that the holster's tension on the gun can be adjusted using the screws that hold the belt clip in place. The belt clip is made of spring steel and will accommodate up to a 2-inch wide belt. The clip forms a complete circle and stays in place very well. Unfortunately, there is no cant or elevation adjustment, so where it falls on the belt line is what you get. Additionally, the belt clip is ambidextrous, and specific parts for left-hand use are provided. The OmiTac holster has one more build feature that I have never seen before in a minimalist holster. It has an injection molded rail which allows the user to take apart the two pieces of the holster. While not an important component, this allows the user to take apart and clean in case of dirt, mud, or other goop gets stuck inside. Moreover, taking these two pieces apart and putting them back together is pretty easy. If we look at the OmiTac holster from the standpoint of modularity, it doesn't really shine. Although the holster is ambidextrous for both left and right hand, it doesn't come with a claw or cordage for additional uses. The OmiTac holster doesn't even have a hole just for cordage, so you would have to remove one of the clip screws to make room. On the other hand, you could go to a holster kit website and buy an aftermarket claw. Just be sure that the screw spacing for both the claw and the clip screw holes are compatible. Finally, on the subject of modularity, it could be said that this little holster is built for one purpose, which it does very well. As far as value, you may not be surprised to learn that this holster costs less than $20 in 2023 money. So for what you get and how well it works, I'd say it's worth it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you right back here on Ranges, Backstops, and Burns.